Kip K presents Zippo LED Flashlight. While I don't smoke cigarettes, I do have a lot of lighters around. Lighters for the fireplace, for candles, for campfires. And I ran across this old Zippo lighter. And I realized this thing wasn't going to be working anymore. The little flint wheel had no more teeth to it and wasn't going to be lighting anything. And since it's an old General Electric Zippo lighter, I thought, hey, this will make a good project. So the first step is to pull the lighter body out of the case. And then we're going to use a screwdriver and unscrew the spring that holds the flint in place and pull back on the rayon bat and remove all of the material inside. We're going to completely gut this lighter. And the last step would be to pull that wick out. Now it's time to make a couple of cuts using the Dremel. We need to remove the flint wheel, so we're going to make two small cuts on the windscreen and remove the little bracket and the flint wheel. When I was done, I used the brush wheel just to take away some of the carbon and to kind of shine it up a bit. Then I dug through my giant box of LEDs and found two small high-intensity white LEDs. Now the leads will be shortened and they'll be soldered in series, nice and compact. Then we'll need a mini momentary switch. This is a very small switch, and this is what's going to power on our Zippo LED flashlight. Now you can get all these parts at your local electronics store. Our little switch is soldered in line with the two LEDs, and then we also added two wires. These are going to go to our power source. Brush-on electrical tape is really handy because it covers a lot of things, and it's better than tape. So I added a generous amount to the contacts on the LEDs and the switch. Now that the LED assembly is finished, it's time to put it inside that lighter. And we're going to use the small hole that the wick was in. The two wires should fit nice and snug. I used a pair of tweezers to just pull them through. Now this is kind of what it'll look like when it's finished, although the LED is going to need to come down a little bit so the top can be closed. And we'll do that and secure it by using the nut that came with the switch. Our power source is going to be one large button cell battery. And we're going to use a button cell battery holder to wire it together. After adding liquid electrical tape to those contacts, and then also I added some electrical tape to the battery side, so no contacts would be made with the case. It's time to put this together. There's plenty of room inside for this battery, so go ahead and put it in, and then we'll reinsert our entire lighter housing back in the case. And there you have it. We've taken an old dead Zippo lighter and turned it into something useful, a dual LED flashlight. To check out more fun projects, click the box on the left to go to my channel. And for all kinds of other hacks, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.